What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. Mox Pearl is great, but Minsk and Boo is... <sighs> Passing Mox Pearl for Minsk and Boo is pretty wild, but I also think it's probably what we're going to do. <sighs> also, if Misty Rainforest or Through the Breach comes back, I'd be okay with that. Oh my god, that was so hard to do, but I did it. <sighs> Guys, I did it. I didn't like it, but I did it. Tropical Island is nice. So is Arid Mesa. So is Fury. Is it Fury or is it Arid Mesa? Ooh, great question. Hopefully the Mox Wheels. Sturt, I like your style. Oh, what up, McGimp? Yeah, I agree that Fury is probably the right pick there. However, I will take the next... Fetch land that comes. Gruel Turf's interesting here. I like a Gruel Turf. Oh, McGimp with the resub. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Good to see you, my friend. McGimp, I'll be in California in like five months. And then that's, we'll, that's where I'll live. So that'll be cool. Think of all the little, the little magic games we can play together. For Halloween, they should make it ghoul turf. <laughs> Please leave. You can see yourself out. Well, Minsk and Boo is already Halloween themed, so that's pretty good. They should dress up the little hamster as a ghost. Put a little sheet over him. Halloween's I like this Nissa. I think this Nissa is very good. I also wonder if we should scape shift with a Valakut in this pack. Probably not. I think we're just taking Nissa. The problem with Valakut is I never I just never want to take it by itself. I mean Oh, we did know they had Ballista. That's true. But if we didn't name Ballista, they still get Renin 6 and they still kill our land. I mean, the alternative is we just play Sneak Attack, right? And then we hope... I think the problem is when you're streaming like this, all the matches run together, especially when you're chatting with people. Every match and game runs together. Um, yeah, like, we could have played Sneak Attack, and then, like, just hope they don't have Nature's Claim. Oh, here's a Renin 6? Oh, that's pretty, that's Renin sick, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, no, I definitely love chatting. That's why I would not compromise. Yeah, like, that's why I choose to chat. I choose to chat, <laughs> you know? But, like, it is distracting, for sure. I think it's just Worm Coil here. I like Worm Coil. And gosh darn it, I like Worm Coil. Xander's Lounge is tempting. I don't think it's great for us. At all. It's probably just Arc Trail. Arc Trail's solid. Arc Trail does jobs. What did we pass? What did we pass that 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 we like? I mean, other than the the one pack that had Valka and Scape Shift, like what lands? What did we pass for the lands deck that wouldn't have been? That would have been better. I mean, I haven't seen Strip Mine or Wasteland or Fast Bond or Crucible or Titania. Oh, Valakut Exploration. I, I think our picks have been better than Valakut Exploration. You're just being a little. You're just being a little rascal. That's fair. That's, These are the superest of friends. Mm, windswept teeth. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Did I take a girl's for jit over jit? That's probably true.
That sounds like something I would do. I probably should have got a snack because my brain energy is low. I might go do that after this draft portion. I'll just run upstairs and grab it. So Windswept Heath, we could take Leyline Binding. Inferno Titan is also not terrible. I think Leyline Binding is a little better. Oh, Jetmere's Garden? Fantastic. That's the exact card we wanted. Temple Garden? Is that better than Endotha Triome? Probably. Yeah, those are some those are some great lands. Okay, now we're now we're Naya. Oh, Athari would be would be great. Great lambs. <laughs> These are some great lambs. Oh look, the Valakut and the Scape Shift both came back. I'll take a Valakut. So it's funny because the Valakut does nothing. Or no, hold on. Like let me let me figure out this pick and then we'll. I'll just take this Weather Seed Treaty. I don't think it's great, but whatever. So without Valakut, Scape Shit does Scape Shit. <laughs> scape Shift does basically nothing. But Valakut is still playable kind of like on its own. I think this is I think this guy's playable. Oh, Fiery Confluence. Oh, Prismatic Omen. Fascinating. I mean, this is definitely gonna. We did open a Mox Pearl, and I think Minsk Minskin Boo is actually better than Mox Pearl. Fiery Confluence. I think it's got to be Confluence and hope either, like, Mystic, Omen, or Carnosaur comes back, because that would be pretty good. I'll even take a Lightning Bolt when it comes back. I'm taking the other red card that also does three damage. Ooh, an Oko in a Volcanic Island. Well... <laughs> We don't have any blue sources yet, but God, is it worth just taking the Oko? There's nothing else in this pack that's even worth taking other than like Oliphant. I mean, I feel like we can easily get a blue source. This guy deals four. This is a red guy that deals four. Yeah, I'm just taking the Oko and we're, we're, we're super friending it up here. We're also trying to get more fetch lands, so. There's a breeding pool. Also an Emrakul. Emrakuls and breeding pools. Also, I kind of like Golos here as well. <sighs> I think it's breeding pool. We can get it with Windswept Teeth. It lets us cast Oko. I would love the Golos to come back. My heart wants the Golos, my brain is telling me pool. I get it. I feel it. I know the things you're you're saying. I like a talisman here, especially because I do kind of want to ramp a little bit here. I don't think it's ooze. Terra Sunder is not great for us when we can't actually kick it. Uh, subtlety, yeah, it's, it feels like talisman is pretty decent for us. Sylvan Library, again? Wow. Man, are we doing it for little Stewie again? I like Atali as well. Hear me out, Doomsday. Uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to time out. It's Youngbird. <laughs> they, they've lost their privileges. We're taking Sylvan Library. Oh, Savannah and Stormcarved Coast. Oh, we're just taking Primeval Titan, right? I think that's got to be correct. This guy is not. This guy's more like a three, hopefully. Prime Time seems better than Savannah here. I love Palantir. <sighs> We already have Sylvan. We have Ren and Six. It's got to be prime time. Oracle. 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 Is it Oracle? Feels like Oracle. 
I don't think it's, it could be Lotus Cobra too, especially if we're trying to get more fetches. Well, we already have Tumble Garden and Jetmere's Garden for Savannah, which which do the same thing. They both get planes and... Thank you! <sighs> yeah, I'm going to take Lotus Cobra. Jenna, thank you for the resub, buddy. Dark Depths. Oh, let's take Dryad. Oh, let's take Fracture Identity. <laughs> wow. Did you see all the things that happened there? Wow. Dryad was good. But... Unless you're like Valakutting, which I don't think we are. Fractured Identity seems like the pick here. Like Fractured Identity is just really, really bananas. Uh, oh, there's Prismatic Omen. Oh, but the Trumpeting Carnosaur and Elvish Mystic. So all three of the cards we wanted plus Field of the Dead. Oh man, this is actually relatively tough. I don't think it's Carnosaur. I think we have enough... I think we just want Mystic here, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that feels correct. Wow, this pack is rough. Is it just Kolagon's command in case we get black mana? Youngbird, thanks for the bits, buddy. Sorry for my nonsense. No, it's a good time. Hear me out. <laughs> Bulls is a Citadel. I knew it. <laughs> oh, I'm tired of hearing you out. I'm going to take Lion Sash. It's pretty good for the sideboard, actually. Oh my god, the Golos came back. Wow, that's that's satisfying. Yeah, I'll just take the cattle. Growth chamber is actually decent here, huh? This deck's looking sweet. We have Gruel Turf and Growth Chamber, huh? Savannah. Fantastic. Okay. Wow. That's looking great. Okay. Okay. Lion Sash is a sideboard. See, I'm like congested again. My nose needs to get blown again. Mox Emerald, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And we passed that Mox, Mox Pearl. Yeah, we're just taking Mox Emerald here. I'm not passing two Moxes in a single draft. <gasps> Channel. I haven't channeled in so long. We got Golos. We got Worm Coil right now. We passed Emrakul. What if we get an Ugin? What if we get an Ugin for a little Stewie? I think we got to take channel here. I think it's just good. Stomping Ground will come back. I guarantee it. I give you my personal guarantee. Oh, there's another Ulamog. Perfect. What are you putting on the line? Ten <laughs> Oh. It's gotta be Ulamog. We've got a channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Oh my god, I give 10 subs if it doesn't? That's just me giving away money. Is Hex Drinker better with channel? I mean, Hex Drinker's not terrible with channel. You just go at turn three, like... No, turn one Hex Drinker, turn two channel, and then you just make it a an 8-8, eight, eight, or a 6-6, six, six, by pumping it for eight. That's not terrible. There's a Bayou, there's a Gorge, there's a Wasteland. I don't like being this person. But we have Renin Six. I think we're gonna be that person. There's this other Nissa, which actually just helps us cast Ulamog. And we have surprisingly a lot of forests. Breeding Pool, Jetmere's Garden, Savannah, Temple Garden. Heath gets a forest. Like a lot of these are forests. Yeah, I think that's probably the best pick here. This is 20 cards. We still get three more playables. Inside you, there are two wolves. One wolf is a wasteland. The other wolf hates the wasteland. I wish I got more than one fetch land when I'm trying to run in six here, right? Triplicate Titan, also good for... 
for channel. Court of Garenbrig is actually kind of nuts, though, isn't it? Did you enjoy Echo? Oh, I haven't watched Echo yet. We're not the Garenbrig deck. You might be right. We only have seven creatures right now. <sighs> Titania. Also Plateau. And also we have a lot of five drops right now. I kind of like Halfling here, actually. I think Halfling might be better than Titania. Uh, Ramming up would be great if we didn't also... We already have Ren and Six. I don't think we need two creatures that return things when all we have is Wasteland and Windswept Heath. I think I'd rather just have another one drop. Oh man, Zurin Orb? Asika's Chariot's just a fantastic card, though. That's a... That's actually pretty good. This guy's also very good. Yeah, I'll take a Sentinel. Cityscape Leveler. <laughs> I mean, this is a lot of channel targets if we take it. Pentide Prism's also not terrible. Neither is Touch the Spirit Realm. Pentide Prism, we can go turn one land, Mox Pentad Prism. Yeah, I'll take the Touch of the Spirit Realm, though. I feel like the Spirit Realm is better. I don't hate a Flame Tongue Kavu. That guy's just a solid gentleman. Savai Triome is decent, but it's only... The, I bet Plateau comes... Oh, the Stomping Ground did not come back, it looks like. Man, I feel like I my guarantee was... was not very good. Yeah, I'll take a Vindicate. Oh, wow. We didn't get... Wow, someone took the plateau as well. Jeez. This is 26 cards. Have you ever been into the spirit realm? Nah, bro, but I touched it once. <laughs> I don't go too far in. I'm starting to feel like you weren't serious about the Ugin. Wait, there wasn't, wait, what did I say? I said, what if we got an Ugin? And then an Ugin never, there's no Ugin, right? We didn't pass an Ugin. My concern is that a lot of these, like, if we don't hit channel, like, Ulamog and Triplicate Titan are pretty hard to, to cast. Unfortunately, we didn't get any black lands for Golos. I mean, we could easily just cut these three, to be quite honest. And I think that's actually not terrible. I don't think I said that, but maybe I did. Like, this is a fine 23. And then, like, we play all of these lands. I mean, also, I, I do like having Lion Sash, Winds of Abandon... Kasali Pride Mage in the sideboard. I think they're all pretty good. All right, let's sort this by colors. Uh, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, this is a white blue. These are white and blue cards. Okay, you guys are nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's see what we got here. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's say 11, okay? White sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, let's say six. Blue sources, we have one, two, three, four. I think that's fine. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five. I think I want six there too, and then we can cut one of these. We also have... Uh, I almost want another red, but I don't. I think that's probably too many red. I think this is probably okay. Let's 
do it. Let's give it a little cut so we can, a little screenshot so we can know what we're know what we're getting here. We also have Golos and, and Primeval Titan to help us find anything that we are missing. Did it give us two planes? Interesting. I did not think it did that. I'll definitely add another red for that. Or another green, actually. How many green come into play untapped? Because that's what we want. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I actually just want another red. Or another forest. One, two, three, four. We don't have any double white cards. Yeah, this seems fine. I mean, even Channel with Golos and Wormcoil is pretty good. I am tempted to bring these these two in. Maybe leave out the Ulamog. <sighs> Am I crazy? Is it is Weather Seed Treaty? Weather Seed Treaty kind of sucks. I think Channel's probably better than Weather Seed Treaty. <sighs> okay, now we need two more. I just I think Channel is good. And like, even if you don't have one of these, just being able to channel into one of these guys on like turn two is still really good. Really? If I get Mox, land, channel, and Golos on turn one? I mean, that seems pretty good. It's just a dark ritual at that point. This is probably like more of that. <laughs> Will you ever draw that? God damn. <laughs> Fucking brutal. <laughs> I have to sneeze, I think. Oh no, it's gonna happen. I mean, it's Arc Trail. Yeah, I can cut Arc Trail. You're stupid. So I'd rather have this Ulamog than Triplicate Titan. Also, let's let's consider we can cast it off Golos if we get uh, a Black Source. Do we have any Black Sources? Lotus Cobra. So, you know, we can make that work. It's a gamble. I think this is a fine compromise. All right. It makes me feel better about adding the second, uh, the additional forest as well. Oh. Dang it, I was going to get a snack and I forgot to get it. So my brain can repair itself. All right, round one after quite a delay. You guys wouldn't know that it was paused, but. I wonder if we keep this hand. It doesn't really do much, but it does have channel, which is kind of tempting. Let's say it doesn't have channel. Do we keep that? Not really. This hand is actually much better. I'm going to ship Prime Time, because I think Golos is kind of similar here, but it's also just cheaper. And we get to play a little Sylvan Library for a little Stewie. So that's... Well, that's good. Fingers crossed this goes somewhere. Oh, look at that guy. Hmm. So one thing we can do instead of playing Sylvan is play Talisman. Next turn we can then play Sentinel and play Simic Growth Chamber. What's the last book you read and did you like it? Oh, that's a great question. What's going on here? 
I don't think it's Sylvan Library because we have a lot of things to do here. I can't recall a book I didn't like recently. <clears throat> no, I actually have never read any Brandon Sanderson. I'm not a big fantasy reader. I actually can't, I can't, I'm, oh, good. That's nice. Well, they're going to hit Worm Coil and Confluence. Yep, that's going to be the end. <laughs> that's all I need to see. Okie dokie. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, this seems good. I don't know if I'd trust Reese's peanut butter in like a jar. Like it feels like it wouldn't be the same. Like I feel like I'd want it to be exactly like the cups. And I wonder if the if that kind of peanut butter in like a larger amount would just be too much. I was not including comics, no. That would be I would be like, well, this one issue. Uh no, I, I, I consider books books, not comics. Uh, yes, it was Fallen Shinobi. Oh my god. What are they doing? There's a mox here? No mox, but a channel and a golos. Oh boy. So if we go one, two, channel. It's just creature or non-legendary, a legendary spell. That's good. I don't think we'd have enough green for this unless we also took forest. We might, if we took forest, we could just go Golos and Primeval Titan though. Right? No, we'd have to take all three, right? Because we only have two green. How much damage is that? <laughs> we'd have to take eight here, four here. That's too much. Halfling cast Nissa, but then we'd still need one more green. Oh, I guess we could go these two. Yeah, possibly. We go 16, 5, and then this guy has... This guy's got some... This is a lot of damage, though, right? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No, that's not right. 16, 12, minus 5, we go to 7. Good lord. Okay, well, we got to do something here, right? So if we channel, we're definitely channeling. Oh, no, I guess we could pay double green here. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. So we go to four. That's totally, totally reasonable when we have no answer for this guy. Which two turn clock? That seems terrible. So we'll definitely play Mystic, I think. Three, four, five. So we can go one, green, 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 green. Then we have to pay three, four, five, six, seven. That seems terrible. That seems terrible. Is prime time just better? No, we can't prime time. Is 
is just Nyssa better? Hmm. Probably not because they have Voidwalker. This is actually fairly tricky. I do want to shuffle. So I think it, it is going to be Golos. Four, five. Yeah, I think we're just going to do this the unexciting way. I think we probably shouldn't have taken four. If we Golos, we could actually get a land like Simic Growth Chamber to bounce a forest and just replay that. So it feels incorrect. I think I made a mistake there. But I also wasn't entirely sure of the plan. And sometimes I just try to rush to like make it a little easier. And I think we're just playing Elvish Mystic here. Yeah, that wasn't super exciting, but I think we yeah, I think we should have not taken the four. There's no reason to take a four. I'm sure we'll be dead here after this guy attacks and Fallen Shinobi's us a second time. No blocks. Oh wow, we just took three. Okay. Well, we get a new look. We do have seven mana, so if we actually had any source of black that could activate Golos, then we could activate Golos. Because right now we have white or red, blue, green. I guess we need a white or a red as well. That's fine. Golos did his job. Huh. <laughs> Turn after channel, huh? Fantastic. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to take Primeval Titan here. Do we just take the Ulamog? No, because Channel's gone forever. Like, it doesn't do anything for us. Mm, maybe. Or we can just Nissa for... Hmm. Primeval Titan gives us a shuffle, which is nice, but Nissa just like makes a 7-7. Seven, seven. An 8-8? Eight, eight? That actually might just win the game next turn. Yeah, they might just have to attack Nissa here. Yeah, I mean, they could Shinobi. They, if they had Shinobi, they would have played it last turn. So they literally just had to draw it this turn off of Charter Course and or their draw step. So if Fallen Shinobi was in their top three cards, then they got it. Looks like one of those was a, was a swamp, so. <coughs> They're going face. Okay, that's an interesting choice. They have to have a way to kill Nissa then, right? Baleful Mastery. Fascinating. I don't know what's going on. What is three mana? Toxic Deluge. Okay. We still get to play Primeval Titan, which is pretty good. And we still get to plus Nissa to make a 9-9. Nine -nine. <laughs> of 
Oh my god. Oh that Ahsoka, that was a that was a message right there. Yep, you got it. All the things. Yep. I feel like we're in good shape here. I'm gonna keep the Ulamog and then prime time for like lands that let us cast the Ulamog. So let's get Gruel Turf. And probably just Wasteland. Bounce just basic forest, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> also tempted to just kill their mocks here. But they are at 10, and this just puts lethal on the board. I guess actually so does. One, two, three. No, that doesn't do it. Hmm. Like giving, putting them, putting them down the four mana. Eh. I think having a nine nine on the board is probably just better. Like, if they play a, a, a bonker six drop here, so be it. If they upheaval, I'll feel bad. Oh, we just win the game. Great. What would we have drawn off of Sylvan? Oko? Oko seemed good. I kind of like Arc Trail just to kill Dothy Voidwalker or any other creature they might try to play instead of in, uh, Fallen Shinobius. <clears throat> Our removal's decent, though. We have Flame Tongue, Fiery Confluence, Fury, uh, Renin Six to shoot something if, if necessary, Leyline Binding, Touch the Spirit Realm. You know what? We're just going to play 41 here. <clears throat> oh, interesting. Oh, I like this a lot, actually. Keep. Oh, this hand looks great. This is turn one talisman into halfling. Not quite Oko, but Oh, or turn one Sylvan Library. Is that is that better? Probably not. So right now we can go Talisman into Halfling, which gives us four mana. Next turn we can play Oko in Gruel Turfit. Or if we draw another land, we can go Oko into Sylvan Library. Whereas if we play Library here, we can't do any of that on turn two. Oh, 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 Let's, uh, hold on, let's queue it up. Ooh, that's a bingo.
I mean, if you want to kill Minskin Boo, I made a 4 4. I'm totally fine with that. Bounce Land's doing some work here. Imagine if that was a Mox Pearl. I think it'd be worse. Oh, the Minskin Boo. Oh, yeah. Instead of the. I thought you meant the Mox Emerald at first, but yeah, if we took Mox Pearl instead of Minskin Boo. Yeah. Uh, nope. So we just draw four here and we kill their Unctus. And then we play one, two, three, four, five. Then we then we'll play Worm Coil Engine. That seems good. Sacrifice it. Snuff out. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> well, that's sad. I guess we just play Oko and <clears throat> Yeah, it's not a May ability. That is true. Maybe we don't play Sylvan. Maybe we just play Oko and make this. I guess they're going to attack Minskin Boo. I don't think this is any better as an elk. I think it's actually worse as an elk, right? I mean, the question is whether I want to have a blocker and save Minskin Boo. But by doing that, I can't play Worm Coil next turn. I should have tapped this in response. That was my biggest problem. If I could just play Warm Coil here to protect this, I think we'd be in another another stratosphere. <clears throat> I think Sylvan Library, I think this is okay. This has to be done regardless. They I mean they have they're gonna activate creeping tar pit and attack Minskin Boo for sure. But we can just attack them for six next turn. I guess, you know what? Sure. This means they can only attack with their Creeping Tar Pit. Now they have to activate Creeping Tar Pit to get, to get Minskin Boo. Yeah. But now we get to attack for six. And Snuff Out was so clutch there, but they took four from it, so. <laughs> That's pretty good. Just not right this second. Oh, the Mox does not have its tap ability. It's grayed out. Where's a white source when you need it? I mean, we could just actually switch this and this. We lose Oko, but then this becomes a 4 4, right? I mean, Sylvan's the only thing we can do here, so I think we actually just like switch these two. One, two, three, four. We have five mana. I 
Uh, there's no reason for us to take a point here just to do this. Target creature control becomes a blue artifact. Uh, oh, we could have added blue, I guess. That would have been smart. But instead, we were dumb. <clears throat> and now we're just going to loot. Yeah, that would have been much better. We would have saved a life. Instead, we took two. So, But now we put them into a position where, like, even if they have Toxic Deluge, it's still not going to do it. Here's your elk. It's green and blue. Draw a card and discard. Why didn't it do that? Why didn't I draw a card and discard a card? Artifact creature elk. It's green and blue. Other blue creatures you control have. Whenever this creature becomes tapped, draw a card and discard. Why didn't it loot? Am I just like missing something? Loses all abilities? It doesn't... <laughs> Interesting. It can't gain abilities after that? Holy shit, that's confusing. I mean, I thought it lost all abilities that it had. I didn't think it could never gain abilities again. I mean, we still wanted to put them to three, because if they have Toxic Deluge... <sighs> yep. Okay, we don't want that guy unless there's also a channel, but then we don't want channel. Oh, <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Put on top, put on top. Do we think they have a counter spell? Yes, they do. Fantastic. I felt like waiting, but... Well, they have one card in hand. No, my superior choice. <laughs> yes, well... And now we know we have Primeval Titan and Ulamog on top. Well, they have one card. I guess they're playing it. Oh, they have three cards now. Wait, what? I guess they feel like we have to draw now because otherwise their option is to have to block here. So if they block here, that gives them one more turn, but one fewer lands. Probe. Now you have one. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> Bone shards? Oh, man. What would we have hit? Nissa? Eh, it's not great. I guess we could have taken damage. We're at 16. That was that was reasonable. I think our deck is sweet. I think it's got some issues, but that's okay. What what vintage cube draft doesn't? If the affected creature gains an ability. After Oko's second ability resolves, it will keep that ability. Feels like a bug. Yeah, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go back and clip that and try to figure out why. Uh, this is a turn. Oh, it's not turn two unless we hit a land that's red. But I'm still keeping this hand. <laughs> Mox into Talisman on turn one is very good. Oh, that's a red land. I think we're just going to hold out hope that we find another one because Talisman on turn one is just really good.
Red source. Blue source. It's got to be garden here. Then next turn we can play Minsk and Boo plus Simic. Ah, that's not great. But this is also white and blue for fractured. So this actually, this is actually the like the perfect land. One, two, three, four. So we're just gonna go red. This guy, this guy, this guy. Minsky, Binsky, and Booski, Wooski. Play this. Bounce this. Next turn we can Primeval Titan or Fracture Identity. Do we attack? No, because I don't really feel like having Minsk and Boo go to two here. Oh man, that's fine. We're just gonna kill this guy. <laughs> For sure. No. Do they double block? Hmm. Man, if only this can kill enchantments instead of artifacts, I could just nug both of these guys. Boy, wouldn't that be something. I don't even think I attack here. I think there's no benefit to attacking. I think we just negative Minsk and Boo to draw four. Oh boy. Okay, so Lotus Cobra is there. Then we have one, two, three, four. Then we get five after. So we can actually play Lotus Cobra into Fractured Identity and get Courser for ourselves. And then they have one, two, three, four, five, and then they just draw Prime Time. Yeah, that seems fine. What are we doing with Prime Time once they have it? Do we just steal their Prime Time instead? That might be better. So this is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana total. One, two, three. We can just play all three of these. Yeah, let's do that. This guy. Add a red, add a green. Ren and six. One, two, three, Sentinel, make a map. No lands to get, but that's okay. All right, so yeah, next time they're gonna play prime time, which is fine because they don't have many. Oh, look, a Minskin Boo coming up. Well, they're gonna shuffle that guy. Fallout made you good games. Oh yeah, the fallen the fallen Shinobi hit in game one was like, yep, that's the end. <laughs> Good games, man. That snuff out was very good for the Minskin Boo as well. So we're fractioning identity of this guy for sure. But then they have a Torsten on top now. Oh, good gravy. One, two, three. They don't have any white sources though? Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, six mana. One, two, three, four, and white. Let's get Wasteland. And windswept, I think. I don't think we have anything else we want to play here. Red. Red. <laughs> sure. Um, play a blue. This gives us five, so we can actually play Golos here. Which 
gets another land, which means you can craft it, crack the map token. Let's get Gruel Turf. Uh, add a green. Bounce Island. Uh, plus on Booskies. What's the card? Delighted Halfling, put it in the graveyard? Yes. Make another map. Yep, this is a good turn. They don't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have enough mana for Torsten. They don't have the white though. So I think as long as there's not a white on the top, we're okay. Done. I think we're good like this, sure. Swamp on top, okay. Yep. Okay, sneak attack's good. They have Torsten in hand. What is this? Green Sun for eight. Woodfall Primus? Yep, that's a good dude. And they're drawing forest. You're killing Renin Six, not the Minskin Boo. Interesting. I guess we do have Wasteland. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> it's like, how much damage is this? Oh, we get an Ulamog? Ulamog would have definitely done it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, yeah, we just cast Ulamog. We can actually keep Wasteland up and destroy like Gaia's Cradle and Valakut. So I think I'm bringing Pride Mage in. They did have a lot of artifacts and enchantments. We can take Fiery Confluence out. It doesn't seem like it's really great against them. This is probably okay. I don't really want to Winds of Abandon them when they have Valakut. Wow, this this is a this is a rough hand. I don't think I'm going to keep it. This is better. We'll put Golos back, I think. Bounce Land does mean that, like, we kind of... Bounce Land's kind of unmulligan you. Because it's like having two lands in one. I'm going to play the garden here. We're not going to play anything, so like we'll just bounce it back, but if we do want if we do draw like Ren and 6 and want to play that, we still can, but I don't think we're going to. Oh, halfling. See, that's that's why we played a resource for sure, but I'm not sure it really matters here. Our one red source keeps being the one that comes in to play tapped, which is unfortunate when we want to cast Minsk and Boo. You got it. Ugh. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Never mind. <laughs> Every lamb. It's we have delighted halflings, so that's cool. Yep, we figured it out. Minskin Boo is a hell of a drug, dude. Not going to attack again. I don't really feel like them cracking back at Minskin Boo is better than just killing their Dryad. Oh, they have one card in hand. Oh, that's interesting. 
Oh, and that gets us a red source. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, we still don't have double red source. So, yeah, I guess we'll attack first. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> well, what is this, four mana? We can have five mana total. I guess we just play Nissa here. That feels okay. Did you know Minsk and Boo can be your commander? <laughs> I did. I did. Our opponent is upset. I, I feel warm. I know the feeling. Oh, boy. Well, that's not going to make you feel any better. How much mana is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 11 mana. Oh, we just win the game. I'm trying to figure out like what, what to do, but like they, they knew. We were probably going to play Fury and kill this or play Wasteland and kill this or the other one or anyway. Anyway. I guess we'll just see if we can 3-0 this bad boy. See, this is the kind of stuff that frustrates me about about Watsy decisions. It's like, okay, so now there are two cards named Red Herring that are completely different cards. So if you're looking for one, they're both going to come up. Like it makes me feel bad for people who like have to manage magic databases. Like my friend Chris actually posted that. So this doesn't this doesn't do much, but we do have a wasteland which could be good. I'm going to keep it and see if this wasteland is as good as people think it is. Oh, they mulligan to six. What was the Theros one that got taken by a name later? What does that mean? Tell me, tell me the, tell me the card. Oh, Rap Tutors. Okay, n neither of these are wastelandable, so I don't really appreciate what you did. Okay, you're still not playing anything I can wasteland. Oh, that's, that's good. That ramps us to five if they let it resolve. Ooh, they let it resolve. Plus, both of these are legendary, so I don't care about your counter spells. I'm not a part of your system. Oh, no, now you want me to play black mana to kill it? Don't do it. Oh, I'll blink it if you try to kill it. Are they going to Toxic Deluge for two? Because you can't counter my channel. Collective Brutality. Huh. 
So they whiff on Collective Brutality. They discard Gristlebrand, so we're definitely bringing in Soul Guide Lantern. I think we have that. I might have made that up. I did. That was last draft. Oh, we have Lion Sash. That's good. Oh, dang it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I also cannot imagine the logic programming that went into layers. Seems a little, seems a little complicated. Oh, they're just going to reanimate this guy. What are they doing? Four mana? What does four mana do? Oh, an Urtai. Okay. Well, at least we got a card out of it, you know? That's the important part. Oh, Fractured Identity. That's interesting. Hmm. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Goalie bowly. Yes, let's get probably Gruel Turf. Yeah, we can bounce Plains, Growth Chamber. We can bounce Forest. And now we have Fracture Identity in case they get that Gristle Brand in play. Oh, they put they tap that real quick. Treachery on Golos. <laughs> yep. Not a single non-basic land. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. Fractured on the treachery. Oh wait, what? What's going on? Oh, do I have still? I just have two floating. That's great. No black sources though. That is unfortunate. Lotus Cobra off the top would would do us nicely. They have one card. Yeah, you got it. Windswept Heath. You do not get us a black source, unfortunately. <sighs> we don't have a black land we can just add, right? Plains. That's not it. Okay. We're just trying to dodge Gristlebrand hits. Mm, that's okay. Really? That is aggressive. Do we crack now? Yeah, I think I want to thin the deck a little bit. 
We'll get breeding pool. For all the good it did. So they can make one and that's all they can do here. So I guess they go to nine. Oh, they're just not gonna do that. They're just taking it and going to six. Fascinating. Man, one black mana. If we had one black mana, we would we would this game would be over. Oh, that's gonna be good. <sighs> yep. Oh, hello, my dear. Welcome back. It's either going to be like Ancestral or I guess Reanimate doesn't do it, so it would have to be like Exhum. And we don't have a creature on the, in the graveyard, so that's a bummer. It is Exhum. <laughs> of course it is. Well, they can't actually... We have nothing that we can do here, right? No. No, we don't. That's unfortunate. I mean, we drew a shit ton of lands this game, so. I mean, I don't know what we can draw here that... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... I mean, Ulamog would actually be sick. Seek his chariot. Yeah, it's not going to do it. That's really frustrating. We just drew nothing for like five turns. I mean, they just had to hit Spellseeker and Havoc Zoom in the deck. That's really all it came down to. I mean, we don't lose, but they draw seven cards. Like, Is it a creature token copy or just a token? It's, it's just a token, actually. So we could copy the treachery next turn if we survive. That's interesting. Well, they draw seven and stay at they go to eight because they draw from they get they gain a life from both Deep Cavern Bat and Gristlebrand. I wish I had a blocker. Okay, that's fine if you want to tap your mana now. Go to two. Yep. Go to eight. Ha 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 Never don't have it. Okie dokie. Definitely bringing in Lion Sash. Pride Mage, they just they just have I guess actually they do have Urza's and Treachery as well, so this guy seems pretty good. We can take out Ren and Six, I guess. He's not doing us any favors. Wasteland was like they literally just have a deck full of Islands and swamps. Winds of Abandon seems decent against Gristlebrand. I mean, so does Leyline and Touch the Spirit Realm. Do we just want one more answer? I 
Three Confluence doesn't seem great against them. Yeah, I'd rather have Winds over Confluence there. What does Ferocidon do? They can't gain life. I feel like it's worse. It's worse for us. Well, that's because we haven't drawn channel plus one of the big things. I mean, if you if you don't draw a channel in the cards you want to channel, like yeah, you're not going to see a turn where channel is good. But, I mean, most green decks have either three or four big things that you want to channel into play. Yeah, I mean, it's just not a bad, it's not a bad beater for sure. Hmm. On the play, huh? Yeah, I'll keep this. If we hit a land, we might go Lotus Cobra and then turn three Growth Chamber or Windswept Teeth into Nyssa. Sure. Yeah, we're definitely going to Lotus Cobra here. Easy Savannah on turn two. Into Nissa, untap Savannah, make Pride Mage. Yeah, that seems good. Sure. They're going to collect a Brutality and try to hit our hand, which is kind of going to be rough because we have Fractured and they're just going to take it. Yep, fantastic. <sighs> It'll still be the fucking game. That's really fucking annoying. Well, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, we cannot activate this guy, and they're probably just going to do it next turn. So we actually don't even get to... They're just going to Gristlebrand this turn, and we're just going to lose, because this is, this is typically how the game threes go for us. Oh, they're just going to time walk first. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't, like, I don't actually understand why this is white to activate. Like, it doesn't seem like it would be... Just Valky, huh? Oh, wait. <laughs> Do they just get to take Bride Mage and then, like, sacrifice this guy? No, that's interesting. What? They didn't. Oh, I guess they wouldn't have had the mana to do that. Just doing this now because we're going to bounce it with Growth Chamber. Man, not a single red for Fury here. Not great. I'll attack. Yeah, I didn't think you wanted to trade. Sure. Man, Fury would be fantastic here if we can get another red card. I'll go down to no cards if we can Fury and kill both of their guys. Oh, discard the reanimate. Oh wow, Fury is insane here. We just get to four for one, four for one them, four for two. Give me a red card. That's not a red card. Oh man.
Yeah, this is fine. Make a guy, sure. I think they're trying to kill Nissa this turn. Man, if we can just draw one red card. <laughs> or even a, a a red. Oh, that's a that's a good one for now. It's just a land though. Oh, you didn't keep that to discard with Malcolm? That's interesting. Oh, okay, sure. I mean, I just get to eat the Valky. Okay, you make it a 2-2. Two -two. And you kill the Sash. Yeah, that's pretty good. You will lose the mana. Yeah, that's fine. We also lose the Nissa, but red card off the top. One, two, three, four, five. Great. <laughs> Can't cast anything. I'm not frustrated at all. We actually can't even Pride Mage here first because then it would tap our attacker. So I'd rather just get three damage in than none. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're just going to make a four. Fucking Christ. Oh, God, I can't believe I walked into... Wait, they didn't do it? Oh, they, they're just going to do it next? Yeah, that's fine. Why didn't they make it a 4-4 four, four first and then block and kill my land? What? That seems terrible. Wow, that's insane. No, the cube ends next week. Not being able to cast Fury this game has really been the... the I mean, like, being able to kill Valky, Malcolm, and Dothy Voidwalker with the same... Red and pals. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to kill this, but then making two four fours in the over the course of the next two turns is kind of terrible for us. But then we take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> this feels terrible, but I think it's what we have to do. Yep. Yeah, whatever this is, I'm just going to... Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to scoop. We, like, we just drew terribly that game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on YouTube, on Twitch, wherever you can wherever you can follow. It's a great way to support the channel, and it costs you nothing. It's absolutely free. So consider it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.